Hi guys, welcome back to my workshop. Let's get on with the next project. Right, I've got it basically round now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the end to put a tenon on the end so I can flip it and put it in the chuck and get it all central and then uh, I'll start shaping it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> few little nicks out where the plywood's not quite formed properly so uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of super glue just drop a little bit in there and then put some uh, sawdust over the top and hopefully push it in with some sawdust so we'll cover them up I'll try that basic shape so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out and I'm going to turn the base because I'm going to make a bit bigger base for it I could do it just so it stands on that but I don't like the idea I just want to make slightly a bit more of a contour base for it so uh, 
yeah, we'll flip it over and we'll put the base in and we'll turn the base and I'll bore a hole out for that to go into the base and then clamp them and glue them together. So it uh, should be okay. So let's swap them over now. Right, what I'm going to do now is I am going to glue that into there and leave it overnight to set and then I'll come back tomorrow and finish that off. And to be honest, I don't think I want to do much more to that. I might just take that brown off of there before. Thank you. 
we'll leave that to dry overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow and finish it off. Right guys, sat 24 hours to dry, left that overnight. Well, not 24 hours, but 12 hours. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll just sand down in, into the groove there and uh, we'll get it cleaned up and polished up. guys it's all shined up and polished up what I'll do is I'll get it on the bench and drill a hole all the way through the middle for the wire and get the top fittings on so uh, yeah looking good here you go guys she's all finished I had the idea for this project a few weeks ago I was watching Pam at Highland Boxes she's just done a sequence of videos with a guy called Jim Pen Pennington and he makes a lot of lamps and I see him making these lamps and I thought well you know that's a usable item it's a bit different from the bowls and everything else that we turn so I thought I'd have a go and I've also been watching people who make a lot of stuff out of plywood and I always thought plywood was like a throwaway timber we use it a lot on site for covering up, boarding up and things like that and it's never really good quality, don't matter how much you pay for it it's never the, the top expensive stuff is not really good quality and I never thought they'd be good enough to make items like this out of them but to be honest it's turned out really really well and I am quite impressed how good a quality this has turned out um, the grain on it is is really really nice and I mean it's, it's, it's well I don't know how to explain it it's turned out better than I ever expected I know I had a few little holes to fill which we filled and um, no, it's it's really good and my wife has seen it and she loves it and she's nabbed it now she wants it for in the house so <laughs> it ain't going nowhere and if she's happy then obviously we're doing something right as you people know but no it's turned out really really well I'll stick some stills up at the end of the uh, video to show how you know has turned out but the sequence we went through is obviously you see I made the blanks out of the ply I ripped them down I think I ripped them down to 120 and then I glued six or five together to give me the, 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 the width for the stem and then I think I cut the bottoms at 150 by 150 and I think I glued three or four together for the base so then we left them overnight to dry then I cut the bases to a basic race round circle on the bandsaw and um, then we turned it you know once we got this one ripped down there's a bit of chipping to do when we ripped it down uh, down to the round, you know, obviously from taking it from square to round, there was a bit of chipping on it, but it wasn't too bad. You expect it because it's laminated wood. But once we got down to the shape, um, we turned the shape. I put a tenon on the end of the, the main stand to log into the base. We then drilled and glued, or pinned and glued it all together. And then I sanded and sealed it. I think I took it from 80 grit to 400. So then we Yorkshire gritted it and then I friction pointed it just to give it a sheen. I didn't want a major shine on this one, I just wanted a bit of a sheen on it. So yeah, that was the process we went through, so now I'm happy with it. I did the wiring 
for the fitting and the plug off camera because of health and safety reasons. I didn't want someone to see me wire up and they wire a plug up wrong and blow themselves up. So, you know, obviously to everybody who puts a plug, just make sure you wire it properly. We don't want anybody to hurt themselves and obviously that's part of my job so I know what I'm doing. So just be careful people please. Um, so yeah, no, that's this week's project. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. If you've liked it, then please like. And please share, you know, share to as many people as you can, friends, family, whoever. Um, to all my existing subscribers, the guys who have been with me from day one, thank you very much. Your support means the world. And I'm really grateful for the comments that you send me. You, know, you guys inspire me. So, to all my new subscribers over the last week or two, thank you very much. You know, I mean, the, the channel's growing really, really well, and I'm really impressed how it's growing lately. Um, and again, thank you, Jim. Jim, you gave me the idea for this uh, lamp, so I hope you don't mind too much that I've copied you, but you know, let's put it this way, you inspired me, sir. And um, go and check Jim's stuff out, and Pam's, you know, Pam from Highland Boxes. I don't know if Jim's on YouTube, but I think he's on Facebook, um, Jim Pennington. Some of the stuff he makes is out, out of this world, and has Pam as well. Pam makes a lot of blanks with burwood and resin. Uh, so go and check them both out, they are both great makers and um, you know they really inspire me and uh, they might inspire you guys too so yeah that's great. So that's this week's project, um, new project for next week so yeah we'll uh, have a good weekend, uh, take care and I'll see you next week.